Who will be our next Prime Minister? Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak? In just six weeks' time, one of them will be moving into number 10 Downing Street. Plan. It's going to push people into... into Look, please let Liz Truss misery. answer. Please let her answer. When uh, inflation gets please, out Rishi of control, Sunak, interest rates go up, Rishi that's Sunak, what Please let Liz Truss answer. I don't accept those points. Well, look, we all took a decision to protect the economy and support the NHS through COVID. And of course, we all knew there was a bill that we needed to pay for that. So the question is, should we pay that bill ourselves or do we put it on the country's credit card and pass the tab to our children and grandchildren to take care of? Now, I don't think that's right. I would start paying it down Liz, in three that, years. Liz, that's uh, simply not right. You promised me. almost excuse £40 me, you, billion you, pounds of unfunded tax cuts, but, £40 billion pounds more borrowing. That is the, company, the country's credit card. It's our children and grandchildren. Everyone here is that kids. Is, that we're is going to have true. to pick up the tab for that. Rishi, that and is not true. Other countries about. like the US, Canada and Japan all have higher levels of debt than the UK. Hard-working taxpayers who do the right thing have seen their taxes rise despite the fact that we so, promised in our manifesto so, so, well, well, not so, so, to do hang it. On, Fizer, I uh, think that is what is wrong. You just, mentioned, you just mentioned three countries. Do you know what mortgage rates are in the US at the moment? Do you want to use them as an example? Their mortgage rates are almost 50% higher than mortgage rates in this country because they're borrowing so much. I'm, I'm you sorry, this Canada. is scaremongering. Ca Canada this actually has... project a... fear. Yes, there's been this conversation today, hasn't there, involving Nadine Doris, the Culture Secretary, one of your supporters, Liz Truss, in which she compared favourably uh, your uh, thriftiness as far as your earrings are concerned uh, with Rishi Sunak's choice of expensive footwear and even more expensive suits. The serious point here is, does this matter? Well, I think in the Conservative Party, we judge people by their character and their actions. I'm proud of my record as Chancellor. Look, I don't, I don't have any issue with how expensive anybody else's clothes are. And actually, I think Rishi is a very finely dressed person. But what we do need to do is acknowledge that China is a threat to our national security. It's a threat to our economic security. But we also need to stand up for our values. And for example, when it came to Hong Kong, I was pleased to ensure that we put the funding in place to welcome to this country thousands of people who wanted to leave Hong Kong. Rishi, I challenged you on this in the debate last week. As recently as a month ago, you were pushing for closer trade relationships with China. This is not something you've advocated in government. I'm delighted that you've come round to my way of thinking. You said not that long ago that we, our relations with China were entering a golden era. Those I were think your that words. was almost a decade no, ago no, no, I said wasn't. that. It was just it a was. few years ago. You went on a trip there and you wanted to deepen collaboration in areas like food decade. security and technology. In this war with Russia and Ukraine, would you be prepared to deploy the Royal Navy? I am not prepared for the United Kingdom to become directly involved in the conflict. We also, and I did this as Chancellor, made sure that we supported Ukraine financially with the arms and weapons they need to defend themselves. And actually, it's something that Liz and I worked together on. Castra Vista, that's what he said when he uh, spoke in the last Prime Minister's questions last week. I'll see you later. Would you be happy to work with him? Would you like to work with him? I very, very much suspect that he doesn't, would not want a future role in the government. That wasn't quite a, a, a no, was it, in terms of potentially involving him in government? Were he, were he to want to? You were assuming he wouldn't? I don't believe that he would want further Can involvement. I, uh, I, 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 think the, I think the simple answer for me is, is no. I think we need to look forward at this point. We've always got on well, and I think we've shared a belief in Britain. Uh, I've already said that you're a sharp dresser, uh, <laughs> so that's, that's not something you need to work on. But the thing I think you should work on, and I want to work on this with you. And if I win, I would love you uh, to be part of my team, uh, is taking more risks and being bolder. Because I think that's what we need to do as a country. OK. And, and Rishi, we cannot Rishi, just have more business as usual. We're running out of time. Rishi Sunak, what quality would Liz Truss need to work on if she were to become Prime Minister? You know, we had this in another debate, and I'm not going to do it again, because I have enormous respect and admiration for Liz.